Newsflash, <laughs> it's never too late to level up your grooming game. Keep your bush tamed. Manscaped's new lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is every man's cheat code to look good, feel good, and turn the page on confidence this year. Now is your time to get a grip on your grooming with our exclusive offer. Introducing the MVP of 2024, Manscaped's fifth generation lawnmower, equipped with two skin safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little off the top, and a new foil blade to go smooth like a dolphin wherever your heart desires. <laughs> she won't be pulling pubes out of her teeth. And for my men who want the full grooming experience, look no further than Manscaped Performance Package 5.0. And oh, <laughs> did we mention it's waterproof? Because a trim in the shower is the only way to start the day. In this grooming kit, you get the trusted lawnmower, Manscaped's ear and nose hair trimmer, and essential aftercare products with the Crop Soother Ball Aftershave Lotion and Crop Preserver Anti Shaving Ball Deodorant. I've been chafing. What's going on? I've got a red rash, so I'm going to use this. As a gesture for the new year, they even throw in two free gifts the Boxers 2.0. Nice. And the Shed 2.0 toiletry bag. Even even nicer. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code Green Room at manscaped.com. Embrace a new you and definitely embrace a new trimmer. Let's get in to the episode. But the hot dogs are ready. Yeah. That's why hard ons at funerals are funnier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. So shouldn't be there. So. Miming wanking at 12 year olds. I mean, so. it's all a lie now. Granddad yeah, yeah. don't like it. Stop it with this. <laughs> I, no, no. That's when I played a drug dealing rent boy. I and... need all the information oh. about this. <laughs> now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you weren't in the trenches. I'll do you want yeah. it to be in the yeah. fucking I'll trenches. Do the, the mortifying thing was. Um, that wasn't the mortifying thing. No. Radio. So it doesn't count really, does it? Uh, but, uh, <laughs> it but does for the really, blind. In many ways, I am like Barack Obama. Yeah, <laughs> the most. I mean, you all like, you all had a little hand in it. Fully, fully, fully changed. I needed to change. I was a cunt. Yeah. I've got to do the intro shit. <gasps> What we call oh. the Hogwarts Green Room podcast. Yeah. Turn that round. Tom Walker. No, we're not sponsored by it. I know, but I just think right. it's nice if it's there. Like <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> guess I was Katie Nicholson, then I introduced the guest, yeah? Yeah. Like, oh, I hate doing the intro. <coughs> Are we rolling? Yeah, me, Deborah, and Tom. <coughs> Sorry. This might be five takes. Uh, be good? Uh, yeah. Keep that in. <laughs> hey, we're back. We're back. I'm back. Tony's not here, obviously, unless you think Kay's Tony. Which, which I'm ve- sure some of the trolls will say. Which is very rude of you. Um, back for another episode. Uh, host, Jamie Hutchinson. Special guest co-host, say your name. Oh, if I got to say my own name, Kay Nicholson. Thank and you very, very much. And very special guest, Tom Walker, a.k.a. Jonathan Pye, a.k.a. Unknown. But we'll get into that. Oh. <laughs> We're going to get another, I'm going to get another name. Alias. I think we should call right another character. All right, yeah, fine. Yeah, we'll Can we role it. play it? Yeah. Oh. Do you know, uh, Improv. That's yeah. my worst nightmare. <laughs> I've been so eager to tell you this. But I was going to leave it halfway in the episode, but I was just like too, like, you know, artistic and that. Um, I had this character similar to yours. I don't know if you heard of um, in 2000 and what was it, 2006, Introduction to Wright Robinson. It was right. a powerful piece. Yeah. Um, it, it was <laughs> when I was in year. I changed my mind. Can I actually have a drink? <laughs> <laughs> when I was in year 10 drama. We had to. I, I was I was nicknamed Oscar because I took it really seriously. And right, stuff. yeah. Like most people pick drama, don't they? To like just doss about. You talk to the wrong person here, though, aren't you? Yeah, but you know what I mean. The odd. It's p- my career. Yeah, but you know, in the you know, in your class, there was like ninety percent of people who didn't like it, who just did it for a laugh. But that always yeah, annoyed me because I like wanted, and me. I wanted to be you know and Lawrence me. Olivier, and then you yeah, had all these assholes mean. that couldn't even get sociology D, so they're all doing drama. That's what I mean. Fuck off. So I was. So, I mean, <laughs> You're outnumbered. <laughs> no, that's what I mean. I was just no, I was the same because I I I I thought myself as like this. Sort of like, I'm going to go in as like this nerdy kid and transform these half kids into thespians and that. Okay. We, we had to, you know when you're in year six and you go around the secondary school to like, yeah. have an mm. instruction evening, I had to, well, I didn't have to, but I took it upon myself <laughs> to write an introductory play. Oh my God. <laughs> you fucking gimp. <laughs> <laughs> and the way I did it, I thought I'll do it as I'm the host of the news 
and I go to different correspondents who explain about different faculties. Wow. So now we go over to Tim, who's doing the sports, and then off, when it's off camera, obviously it's a play, I'm like, fucking Tim, he's a fucking waste of space. Yeah. And I'm corpsing on purpose. So I'm, I'm absolutely dying on my ass on purpose, but that died on its ass. Of course. Of course it did. I yeah. was just too layered for these <laughs> 10 year olds. That's what it was. You were. You there was too much subtext. For yeah. Them. yeah. It was too complicated yeah. and they didn't appreciate your art. I, ne I never felt a death like it in my life. Oh, but you yeah. still continued. I, I had to you, dig in. I had to dig in because yeah. it was. It, I had like you know the weather and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> How long did this go on for? It was like three and a half hours, it wasn't was, it? Yeah. Uh, so it, did I'm, you have any breaking news? Do, it was probably pre yeah, twenty four hour. I was just incompetent. I was like, I was you know dropping papers and spilling my drink and stuff like that. Do you know? Yeah. I was just all over the place. I couldn't find where my next queue was. Right. Going okay. to the wrong correspondent. They're all sagging me off. But I I just didn't convey it well. You got to be really good to make something look bad. You yeah. Know that's what I mean. What I mean. Oh, so you've got to be perfect to go like to play the piano badly. You have got to be really good at it. Yeah, like and Tommy Cooper. Yeah, you probably just weren't. Quite good enough. Oh, that's well, just right. <laughs> the the idea is just that 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 sound goes. I had this grandiose idea. Like it's just gonna, it's gonna it's gonna break the fourth wall of secondary school. <laughs> You'd start year seven being that. carried in on people's shoulders. <laughs> like, the legend has arrived. But the, the the mortifying thing was um, that wasn't the mortifying thing. No. Oh right then. We. We did it. That was the matinee. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> we started, Absolutely. We started, like, fuck we started an evening show. It's like, fuck, this is too late to rewrite. I've just got to do it all over again. Just playing certain death. Oh. So, do you yeah. know what? I am never an advocate for bullying. <laughs> However, <laughs> no, you, yeah, and you, no, deserved, you didn't have a choice, did you, no, babe? No. But oh. I, lo I, loved, I loved that idea. I think I've read somewhere you like it as well, Joe, the, the bloopers and stuff like that. That is that is the uh, that's the that's the birth of Pi, definitely. Like I d you're probably a bit too young to remember. It'll be all right on the night. Oh, Dennis Arden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gee, you're right. But I am too young. That, that was you. always <laughs> the ones that got me. It was the it was the newsreaders because it's like the prescribed way of doing things, and therefore yeah, it's yeah. like when the, it makes a mistake, it's far more. And also, like if it's someone on EastEnders or Coronation Street making a mistake, it's not the end of the world because it's like, well, cut. We'll yeah. go again, right? But if you make a mistake live on television, live on the news, you know, and it's more serious in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that so that switch the between something that's really quite prescribed and yeah, quite yeah. formal to, to oh fuck it. It's um, why it's, hard it's on, bigger. It's know? why hard ons at funerals are funnier. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. So <laughs> shouldn't be there. <laughs> but at a wedding, you're like, yeah, it's yeah, give it love. Yeah. <laughs> There's less to move about getting a hard it on. It depends who's got the hard on and for who. Exactly, it depends. <laughs> no, really. Like if you get a hard on when the flower girl's walking down, you're kind of fucked, you know what I mean? <laughs> like that's that's a pretty big taboo. <laughs> to be fair. It's not good that. Oh, oh. It was, you know. God. So the birth of Pi. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that came out of <laughs> Your your character, <laughs> not the dessert. Yeah, okay. Or the math equation. I feel so sorry for Danny, Danny in the corner, who's just found out its character. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So your name's not Jonathan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it, lad. Never mind. <laughs> sorry, Ruth. That's all right, mate. <laughs> Uh, so it's came not all right, though, is it? It's not all right at all. It's well, it's just good to know angry. that you've all done your research. It's really, you know, well done. I actually it. have done my research. Well, actually, actually yeah, I have. I know <laughs> that you have just under a quarter of a million followers on Instagram. Thank you. So you looked um, up my Instagram account. I did. Well done. Uh, because Tony Carroll sent me the link. Um, <laughs> no, I've actually... I, do you know, I... Um, what was... The, it was quite recently the, uh, the video you did um, about Hugh Edwards. Yes. Was... I, that was that was brilliant. I really really like that. Sorry, it's really hard to have this conversation while Jamie's well, just done a shot this of Gaviscon. Necking Gaviscon. <laughs> like, well, like, like he could go off at any minute. Like, <laughs> you know, like, Why are you breaking that on an audio format? Well, cause because there's cameras oh, because there's cameras, you know? and you know full well more people watch it. Well, they don't, don't they? No. Oh well, you're missing out if you're listening to it. Fucking grow up here and watch it. Unless you're blind, then I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> see, <laughs> see. Yeah. But for those who can't see, Jamie's just done a shot of Gavascon. Oh yeah. Wild days. I but mean, yeah, it's um. And and how was the Philharmonic last night? 
It was good. Liverpool mm. is a very good place to come, particularly with my sort of stuff, because it's very anti-Tory sort of rants and all yeah. that sort of nonsense. But uh, it's it's not the easiest uh, theatre to play because it's w- when you're in concert venues, it's th- quite often they're painted white. Yeah. Mm. So the light, j- you can see everyone. You can see the whites of their eyes, and that's a bit terrifying for an opening night. But Liverpool were they they were up for it. I don't really. like playing to the dark, me. Oh, I love playing to the dark. Oh, I just, really? I don't want to see I mean, them. It's, it's I don't totally want to. Oh no, I like um, no. I like, I like seeing the because also I'm not, faces, I'm not yeah. a club comic, right? I've got no bants. I've got no <laughs> audience work. Bants. I've got no, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. exactly. I call it bants for yeah. Christ's sake. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> um, I just want to do my script the way I do it, and if anyone heckles, go, go fuck yourself. It's like you know, so it's a different. It purports to be stand-up or character comedy, and it is obviously. But I just I want to I want to do it like word for word the yeah. way I want to do it, right? So it's just any distractions or anyone you know. The minute someone gets their phone out, it's oh just no, that's just, just up, rude you know. in general, anyway. Yeah, um, it's just shitty. But it's sort of yeah. So I, I I it's it's yeah. It's like I've never I didn't earn my stripes doing the club circuit, so I haven't got those. Like the tools and stuff. Yeah, it's like yeah, literally yeah. shut the fuck up or fuck off. That's yeah, as good yeah. as I get. Which, isn't, which isn't you'd exactly. Be, you'd be surprised how well that does in a room, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just saying yeah, that, yeah. like how yeah. well that does in a room. Or my other one is, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I forgot to introduce tonight's entitled asshole. Yeah, yeah. Think, nice. Who thinks they give a fuck? Yeah. Oh yeah. What, you know, see, yeah. yeah. They're, 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 that's it's better than some comments. As long as you swat it down, mm-hmm. innit? Yeah. As long as you regain the power. Obviously, in an atmosphere like this, then it is a bit more kind of. Yeah. Do you do? Yeah. Have you ever done club stuff in terms of like work in progress to get the show up? And well, stuff? I try. I sort of try and I try and do it in a. What I don't do is do ten minute little set pieces and try it out and work it that way. Yeah. I, I write the whole show when I've put written the end and it's there. Then I will learn the whole show. Yeah. And then I'll take certain bits out on the road and sort of do twenty minutes here, twenty minutes there. And then I've sort of, I'll play a little. The, the thing about doing that that sort of show in a in a in a place like this size it exposes it right yeah. you know you you come out the other end of that knowing what are the bangers that oh, yeah. that that are going to properly them. land but you also know Jesus Christ that twenty minutes is a bit yeah it's a bit, a bit like pulling teeth isn't it so I need to gag that up a bit and kind of do you ever have like because obviously Jonathan Pye is quite opinionated and stuff and and do, you know what I mean does it does it blur with your own views I get what you know do you know because I split my character sometimes yeah just in turn like not on stage but in like I have internal schizophrenia. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you have like internal like of oh, I I find this abhorrent, but Jonathan Pye would agree on that side of the fence. Not abhorrent, but I mean like that there, there are certain things that I have put in his mouth that I go actually that's not quite to my taste, but I know that he would go that far. Oh really? I mean I th- yeah, but then actually normally I sort of pull back on that a bit. Like there was a few gags that I've cut actually recently because you go. Do you know what? I just haven't got the taste for that. Uh, oh, yeah. But I don't think he would give a sh- as much of a shit as, as I do. But I mean, like, politically, we're pretty... I think he's a bit more left yeah. than I am. I think I'm a bit more realistic and just go... <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but uh, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's funny. Like, the older... It's a bit like... and Not that I want to evoke, you know, uh, Coogan and Partridge. I don't think I'm sort of at that level. No, right? it's, but, it's, but I think it's the older we get... The older I get, the more we're me and the him. More you more become more me in the middle. Yeah, the, me, the more I'm sort of meeting him. And also, the older the older I get, the more I mellow. So actually, the older Pi gets, the more he's sort of mellowed. And in this particular show, he's just he's a little bit more mellow and a little bit more introspective and a little bit more looking at, uh, for the first time, admitting that he isn't fucking perfect. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, the whole sort of theme of the show is about hypocrisy and it's about him kind of accepting his own hypocrisy you know mm. what I mean that's very uh, deep there's also some like some laughs in it and shit <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's also quite funny just, sprinkle, just in so case you're worried Jesus because I I, th- I just I don't, I don't know whether this is just coming from kind of doing stand up because obviously when we do set I mean obviously you've got people that do like characters on stage but we are essentially like extensions of ourselves like the, the style we do <laughs> speak for yourself mine's, uh, I, mine's <laughs> carefully crafted it's not um, I've seen Jamie set a lot. It's not, um, but we. So like, I I just assume like, because you created him, 
the he was an extension of kind of you and embellished into the situation. He, he kind of is, but there is always <clears throat> now that that barrier that I've got that protective like shield mm. of wearing a suit and pretending that I am actually a TV reporter. And I mean, that that's sometimes the issue with writing it, that he isn't self-aware as a comic or a satirical creation. So he can't be that knowingly funny. Yeah. So sometimes to get a gag in, you have to sort of just go around the houses a little bit because he's not a gag Meister. Yeah, you can't be too you know? sharp. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it's kind of it's kind of difficult in that respect. But I, d- I do think that I would now have the skills to be able to play a club like this and do a twenty minute set yeah. as me without the suit, and oh, I'd, I'd be able to know what I was. I've doing. I've seen Monday know? nights. Danny could do it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, believe, yeah, believe me, you you would be fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> and also, and also, I do uh, in in the run up to uh, writing a show and particularly performing a show, I like to watch a lot of stand up, like a lot of. Uh, come to clubs but also like watch a lot of Netflix and Amazon stuff because I mean you can learn a lot from bad comics as, as well yeah. as good comics but I do watch sometimes and I go fucking hell I mean I, I do know what I'm doing because that was dog shit yeah some of the <laughs> some of the high profile ones especially in recent years I just thought this is lazy really open mic level stuff really well polished do you know what I mean? yeah, yeah I not even sometimes agree. that well polished yeah, you're just like it's like you're it's like you're fucking testing material out and it's like yeah yeah, if I had a fucking Netflix special, I'm sorry, I'd work my ass off. And it's, you know. it's just the fucking the you get the dough, don't you? Like ten million or whatever. Yeah, because and it depends what route you go down. I don't know. I don't know whether like we're quite snobby in the sense of like like I've always said I want to earn my stripes in clubs yeah. and learn it that way. And if it like, but then I'm always like, if I if I got the opportunity to go another way, I mean, it's I interesting. Like, it's Fuck interesting. It, I'll sell I mean, out I, and I'll I got. It's safe to say the comedy community <coughs> did not welcome me with open arms, right? <laughs> it's, it's safe to say. Yeah, that, okay? we're jealous little and bitches. I, and I, yeah, we're not, yeah, we're not the best. <laughs> and not I think the I, best. I, I've always yeah, said, like, I, I trained as an actor, but yeah. actors are bitches behind your back, comics to your face. <laughs> and I mean it, like, literally to your face. You're shit, right? But I think what's interesting is I didn't earn my stripes the way you did. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't come up from... You know, doing a five minute spot here, 10 minute spot here, and just learning the skills in that way. What I did have was 20 years of no fucking work and slogging my guts out. And and then I became this sort of YouTube phenomenon. And very quickly, I was offered to do uh, an Edinburgh run, and I just sold fucking Edinburgh out. I didn't have to give a single leaflet out. And you could feel it when I was in the artist bar, these yeah. comics looking at me like fucking. Meh, meh, meh. But by virtue of that, you go, well, if I'm. I'm still doing that seven years later, right? So it, so the product that I've come up with can't be that shit, right? But I noticed that there was a real change with COVID because suddenly the comedy community had to adapt really quickly oh, yeah. and put their shit yeah. online. And uh, quite a few quite big names now have appeared out of that um, time and now I feel like people look at me and go, ah, oh, okay, it is legitimate. You know, yeah. because I was just slightly ahead well, of the game on that and, and that I've created a live act, but I created it originally on YouTube and I don't think that people see that as cheating anymore. Yeah, so didn't, it wasn't a legitimate thing before COVID. Then COVID yes. sort of legitimized yeah. it because like, oh, look at this go-getter making it for himself. go Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this go-getter. That's what it's got now. Like, oh, he's just having a mental breakdown in his bedroom, but he's a go-getter. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, 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 but he did manage to press record before yeah, he did yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> but I think, I think there has been that acceptance if you go, actually... Uh, it was you resentful of it? There's no right way you're doing it, though, w- Was I there? resentful of it? To start with, I was. Then there was an element of just, oh, fuck them. <laughs> and now, I'm not being funny. I'm I'm uh, selling out the Hammersmith Apollo. The literally, fuck them. <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> yes. It's a bit, baby. Yes. Uh, you can earn a lot of money pretending to be a socialist. I can <laughs> <assure you. laughs> Oh, the irony in that. I love that. Can you edit that out? <laughs> Sick. I mean, there is no right way of doing it. There's no right way of doing it. I think that's the thing that people have started to realise. Whereas, Mm. uh, but when I started six, seven years ago, the right way was to play small clubs like this and earn your stripes and then go to Edinburgh, lose a fucking fortune and your mental health, and then you were allowed a fucking uh, career. You see it now in some green rooms where you you look at a lineup, you're like, for fuck's sake, here we go, another fucking. 
you get you just ha- sit down and you're just going to get the halcyon tales of Papa Comic telling you how good jungles used to be. In yeah, 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 yeah. When, yeah, I, when yeah. I first started yeah, out, yeah. we got horse in carriage to gig. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ass, Someone yeah. wound up like. <laughs> yeah. It's all a lie now. Granddad yeah. don't like it. Stop it with this. <laughs> I, no, no. Stop it with it's this. character. No, but it's not just you, is it? So I did. Sorry to mention another podcast. Another one podcast. And Wozniak did that for the entire... And, and it got to a point where I literally... I was in his face. And I was like, if you don't fucking stop that now, I will take your arm and shove it up your arse. I, uh, for context. I've just, been, yeah, I've just been on tour and my opening act's Wozniak. Uh, Simon was an amazing comic. Great we, guy. We just sort of went a bit institutionalised <laughs> and just started speaking like a granddad, two granddads, both <laughs> almost twenty four seven. Yeah, but, but it's uh, it's funny. It's funny at first. Yeah, it, you know, it's great at first. You know, you're funny. It's just man, I'm yeah. gonna laugh. Ah. And then after the seventh time they've done it, yeah, with like little tiny gaps in between, it makes you want to pull out your eyes and ears and and live in a cave for the yeah. next 17 oh, no. years. But also that becomes, is how I expect... It comes to the point where it becomes habitual. It's oh, not yeah. even it's fun it's anymore. Not, it's it's just fun. that's the way we talk. I've done it in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, no, Grand, I don't like it if you twist it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't twist. <laughs> don't twist. <laughs> it's it's new. <laughs> I have to take it back. <laughs> I'm not too sure for that. Honestly, <laughs> I feel more and more sorry for Lauren every single time <laughs> I do this podcast. That's I, I, oh, could you imagine? As, as Pi ever made it to the bedroom? <gasps> uh, there yeah. is uh, actually, actually, in this show. Also, the, you won't get this on Jay Comfrey. Uh, no, you won't. <laughs> that I talking about kind of it, it being a tradition, not being a traditional stand-up. I did want to in this show do a couple of bits that you go, this would land with me without a suit for a five minute set in a comedy club. And there is, particularly near the end of the show, there is an anecdote about something that Pi did mm. once in the bedroom that I think's fucking hilarious and it, it would not be expected. So yeah, that, that's the first time. It, basically it's in response to, he's terrified about what happened to Philip Schofield and Hugh Edwards yeah. and <laughs> that one secret about your personal life. If that comes out, that could be the end of it. Yeah. And actually what he ends up doing is just divulging it all to the, to the yeah, audience, yeah. you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, it's the first time we've ever sort of had to picture him. Do you think of him as like, like I'm going to add him to maybe have a, a child or uh, a mistress or things well, like he's that, got like a sitcom character. Sort I, of thing. Well, I've, so I did a, uh, the BBC sitcom uh, radio, so it doesn't count really, does it? Uh, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it but does for the really blind. That, yeah. <laughs> it's been before. No, but that was really interesting, like finally putting him with other d- obviously fictional characters, yeah. which finally made him obviously a fiction, which meant that I could make him wrong stupid, uh, the wrong side of the culture war, because there's always someone else in there to sort of let the audience know that me as the author doesn't condone what he's just said. The problem is when it's like the online stuff, or even to a certain extent, the live show, it's difficult sometimes to let the audience know that me, as the performer, knows he's gone too far. It's kind of a difficult tightrope to make. But uh, in answer to your question, it's like I've I have always tried to separate his the circumstances of his life from my life. So oh, he's right, got yeah. he's divorced. I've never been divorced or married. He's got a son. His dad's dead, whereas mine's alive and well, which was awkward when he came <laughs> to watch the show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he sat there like, am yeah, I yeah, dead? Yeah. <laughs> sort of oh out. Also God. afterwards, like Why introducing it to me. Well, this is my dad. Everyone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, and you know, uh, so so yeah, it's it's like I I try and surround him with with either in that sort of sitcom scenario or in the live show, he's talking yeah. about people that don't actually exist. You know, yeah, it's a, it's good thing to have in it because we're ourselves and every I, I, I know this is the banality of comics mentality as soon as something bad happens mm-hmm. like a relative has died part of my brain goes fucking get in yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You do. yeah. It's, it's really it's really fucking weird yeah. i mean we we jo- we've joked about it before i am at my funniest when i am at my lowest oh, yes. so good. Yes. like yes. i like 
if, if, if something's happened to me that's really, like, if I'm really upset about something, I will march myself down here. I'm yeah. like, could I just try something for ten minutes, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The scar are running. Like, and it, and it works. Yeah. But like, <laughs> it's awful, isn't it? But I think, um, yeah, because you can't I, go on stage. Have you ever noticed how great life is? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. everything. Amazing. Yeah, it's almost yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but but yeah, I think uh, it is warped. Like but the I way there we is react to things there is now. Funny, but I mean, we always laugh at someone's misfortune. So actually, a comic talking about this thing happened to me. It's funny, but there is also something really funny about this sort of nihilistic attitude where some where you watching someone just go, "It's all just fucked." Yeah, yeah there's yeah, something yeah. quite funny about it. You That's know? something yeah. I, I sort of unlocked myself as an actor because although I've not had characters I have different personas I used to be yeah. deadpan I used to be you know a bit cheeky chappy and then I yeah. just went I am just fucking hate the world and then yeah. as soon as that went oh yeah you can come back and do 20 yeah 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 that, you're that, clearly miserable and yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> literally like I I've isn't had, it funny listening to some miserable bastard for 20 minutes and everyone <laughs> leaves going that was a great night yeah, yeah. You know, okay. I feel so happy now yeah, yeah. and we're sat in the green room yeah, like yeah. that just all of the energy drained yeah, out yeah, of yeah exactly I think that's why I hate musical acts I'm just like fuck off you guitar oh. no one wants a sing song I just hate musical acts because the shit <laughs> <laughs> it is, uh, it's, I did have one very good one warm up for me recently but yeah there is nothing worse generally as a general rule no there are some uh, I think you know what when it's done good you're like oh, but when it's done well it's great it's amazing because also the expectations are so low yeah, they always that when they're it. good you're just like fucking hell yeah, they, always, great, you know? they always smash it I think it's but. just I think it's a really hard thing to get to, done, to be done well yeah like there's a comedian um I won't say his name because it's a, it is quite a good joke. Where he says I'm a, I'm a musical comedian, um, so I'm not respected by musicians or comedians. Yeah, 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 and it's yeah. a really and, and it really gets a lot because it's true. Um, <laughs> 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 but um, but yeah, I think when it when it is done right, it's fucking it's brilliant. Like so so good. Yeah, they're well below character acts. Yeah. <laughs> 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 in the grand scheme of things, right? Well, uh, they are, they are I can't. Th- there thanks was for coming sort on. of a compliment and not one there, wasn't there? Yeah. No, it was just. I, 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 mean, I was referring back to comedians start welcoming me with welcome arms because you've not done the chuckle dungeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've not, you're not done five minutes in Litchfield. Yeah. 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 You fucking coward. Yeah. You haven't travelled for seven hours for 30 quid. Fuck yeah. it off. I mean, when, when the first tour I ever did, some of the stops along the way were in, oh, I can't remember their fucking names, but it's a, it's a brand of comedy club. Uh, there's one in, oh, what the fuck would it be called? Give me some... I want to call Fun it House. It's Glee. Like Glee. Oh yeah. Did some yeah. Glee clubs, and like, you know, I'm not trying to suggest that my work is like, you know, you know, high grade fucking intellectual <laughs> stuff, right? But there is sort of a, a story. There's a through line. There's some fairly, you know, it's a, a lot of it is political. There's a bit of nuance. You've got to sort of have your brain switched on a little bit sometimes, and. Fuck me, you just got people eating chicken in a basket. <laughs> yeah. Just like on the stage, do you know what I mean? And it was just like, and I mean, I I swore never, ever, ever again. You know what I mean? It's can you be done like, for 10 without a reggae night? Yeah, after. exactly. Oh, do you know what yeah. I mean? And and how, how um, well, no wonder you learn your fucking trade pretty quickly when you're playing sort of, you oh, know, yeah, yeah. stuff I wanted like that. I wanted a gig um, and while I was on stage, um, some lady shouted, the hot dogs are ready. <laughs> that, was, that was a low point. <laughs> I got off stage and got a hot dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Onions, please. I was like, that running. <laughs> yeah, hot dogs are ready. While I was like, mid building up to a punchline. Yeah, yeah. I, did, I was like, there's got to be more out there. There's got to be more. I did whole comedy lounge. Mm. They sold 12 tickets <laughs> because they have another venue downstairs and they had pelvis on. And that, an Elvis impersonator. Oh, and that man. sold out. So we had 12 resentful people who just couldn't get in. Oh. So they went, oh, we'll put comedy on. So I did that. And you're just playing to one table. And halfway, f- I'm just having, at that point, I'm just doing a crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off of the crowd. Crowd? The wait. The waitress just came, stood in between me and the <laughs> table and took their burger options <laughs> <laughs> while I'm in the middle of talking to them. 
Oh, it's oh, no, so bleak. It. Oh, I love it though. It's funny. Oh, though. yeah. I think it, looking back at it, like it. Why am I saying looking back? Like I'm fucking established. I don't know why I said looking back. Never again. Yeah, I'll that, be doing that, it next fucking week. The housing days <laughs> of 2022. Yeah, my fucking person. <laughs> fucking hell. Um, I think. It, I, oh, when I, I did a gig in him. When the hell was this? Last at the end of last year in Bolton, and it was a. Uh, I, I, I went in. It was like a pub. But it was, you know, one of them pubs that doesn't know what its identity is. Oh, right. Like, yeah. there was a football pitch on the ceiling. What? Like, like, it was painted, like, the pattern of a football pitch on the ceiling. One wall was, like, urban graffiti, oh, but they yeah, sold course. real ale. And it was like, I don't know what you think, I don't know who you sport? are. Yeah. Um, and I was doing... Oh, but I, the hipster granddads. Yeah, it was that kind of vibe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and I remember as I was... Um, Doing like I do like a little bit of crowd work, but that's it that I was doing. It's a little bit of crowd work at the top to go into a joke, and um, I said some, I said to this woman, I was like, "What? What's your name, hun?" And this fella next to her went, "Gary." <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Right? And I just went, "Oh no!" <laughs> and I thought I've got a decision here to make. I can either try and carry on with my set, or I can speak to Gary for the next twenty minutes. What do you do, Gary? Uh, and then that uh, was it. And it was yeah. just Gary show, uh, and it was just. Yeah, that was the last one that I did, just gone, that made me go, there's got to be more to life. Yeah, there so has yeah, to yeah, be yeah, more yeah, to yeah, life yeah. than, so, than so, this. So the, the thing is with comics, when they say, you've not done that, therefore you're not a legitimate comedian, yeah. what are you gaining uh, from that? Literally. Exactly. I don't want that in my life. <laughs> and I never, I never and no have. one should. Yeah, yeah, no one, yeah. It's not something to aim towards yeah, in, in yeah. the slightest. Um Oh yeah, God. I hope he's all right. right. You've not been in the song. Yeah, it sounded shit. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I'll, exactly. I'll do you the in the trenches. I'll Who do wanted yeah. to be in the I'll, fucking I'll trenches. I'll do the nuclear war, mate. I'm not asked. I'll do it for me, me. I'll do the cyber war, lad. Um, speaking of wars, yes. um, <laughs> Queen of the Segways. <laughs> Have you seen um, Israel Hamas? Oh my God, what's his name? <laughs> Whose side are you on? Um, hashtag vote Palestine. Um, <laughs> She's Palestine and I am Israel, but together. <laughs> For one night only. Yeah. Unison. <laughs> um, they're, they're, they're saying um, the people are going to have to start fighting because the army's too small. Lad, I'm not or fighting. Something. No, I've got, we've got a plan. I've got a plan. Everyone who's got a Union Jack in their bio yeah, goes you got, first. You yeah, got, yeah, yeah. That yeah, way right. we get rid of them. I, and they've and, and and we protect them, me. Like I just think that that is a really good idea. And we'll have a unit of ex, XL bullies. Yes. You have your muzzle off if you fight. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> or we'll fight I them love fucking it. French poodles Genius. or whatever we're fighting against. This could be the solution we're after. Yeah, you know that I mean? would be that'd be a great way to go. <laughs> great way description. Yeah, if you've got a Union Jack in your bio. Oh, yeah, what, what, go. what if some? Yeah. What if some? You know, really. Really quite meek, clad. Has to go because he's left it in from Eurovision. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> surrounded by oh, oh no! no. <laughs> 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 Some lad singing Waterloo by Abba. <laughs> Just like, oh no, euphoria. <laughs> Just crying. Making oh. your mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was supposed to be a skirt. <laughs> oh god, oh, that, that I thought that good, was interesting. Oh, no, that is a good idea. Though. Isn't it a really good idea? Yeah. Do you know yeah. When, uh, I mentioned before we have bad things happen in our lives? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you sometimes think, oh, atrocity? Pie's got a new angle. <laughs> I do sometimes. Sometimes, like Trump, but look, I think we'll become the next president, right? And actually, this time round, I'm watching it, and it's depressing me. Yeah, it's de yeah. it's, I'm getting depressed. In 2016, it, it was kind of like... This is, well, it was just this like, this wow. This is a bit stupid, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is fucking hilarious. Brexit and Trump, it'll yeah, never yeah. happen, but it's good to have a laugh, isn't it? And let's be honest, what are we like? and, and, and I kind of got a career out of it. Brexit <laughs> and Trump, I kind of got a career out of it. But there is something now where I kind of go, that's really shit, and people are expecting me to write some jokes about it. Do you but really also think like he's going to be president again? Yeah, I really Sorry to do. cut you off, but do you I actually really do, think? Yeah, I really do. Do you? I mean, like, half of America still think Joe Biden didn't win. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we're up against. I mean, I'm not joking. Exactly. You either laugh or you cry, don't you? I mean, 
I love the fact that that's the funniest thing I've said all day, and it's, and it's demonstrably a fact. <laughs> Have you seen? Have you seen? I feel bad talking about um, basically someone else that does quite so much what you do. Yeah. Um, but I actually know because he's not a character actor. Anyway, it's this fellow in America that goes around like Trump rallies. And yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen it? Yes, yeah, great. It is fucking yeah, thick fun. They're so thick. Like they go, um, why do you think Barack Obama isn't an, like an American citizen? Well, no one was. I can't do the accent. I don't <laughs> no, no, no one. No one. <laughs> no one from these <laughs> dales is called Barack. <laughs> I've been, uh, green grass. I've been, green grass. I've been in that pub every Friday for 25 years. Not one barracks walk through them doors, I'll tell you that. His name's Gaddy. Yeah, <laughs> Gary. Um, yeah, and um, he goes like, why do you think Barack Obama is an American citizen? And the woman goes, well, no one was present at his birth. No one was present. And they go, um, well, right. how do you know Donald Trump is? And she goes, well, you just know. And they went, well, was anyone present at his birth? And she goes, his mother. <laughs> like, he's just like, these people are so... Br- oh. And like, where was... Um, they said um, when, when 9-11 happened, they, she went, um, like, 9-11, where was Barack Obama? It was like, he wasn't fucking president. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, like but it's that level of sheer... And, and it, it's funny, but it's, it's terrifying. It's terrifying. It is terrifying. They're the majority. Like, it's like having... The Monday lot voting oh, for yeah. like that's it's like them being the majority. Of yeah, the industry. that's why I didn't win an Office Comedy Award <laughs> uh, because we give power to idiots. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I lost that. You're right. Oh uh, yeah. I, in many ways, I am like Barack Obama. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah. You've definitely Hope. got his eyes. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is. Do you know? Yeah, it's terrifying. It's ter- funny, but. Horrifically but terrifying. terrifying, and also like when when you we 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 were laughing earlier about the atrocities in Gaza, and um, <laughs> uh, no, but but like when that started, but when that happened, right, and people are going do a bit about it. What write some funny jokes yeah. about about uh, you know? It's like so. Sometimes I'm like I'm, I don't like I say I don't really have the taste for it. Because yeah, I'm not an activist. I'm not a fucking. Um, I'm not trying to change hearts and minds. Uh, I'm, I'm and trying that, to that sort, sort of, of, you know... I mean, it could be seen as being a bit too opportunistic and vulgar to, like, I think so. I, re- I think so. You know, like, I, you know, you know, I put a YouTube thing out. I make a bit of cash. So I'm not there going, ah, oh, some yeah, dead yeah, babies yeah. in Gaza. Ka-ching. Because <laughs> that would make me a fucking... Clip. Clip. Yeah, okay. Just clip that. I don't no, know. Please don't. <laughs> I'm out the trailer. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, d- yeah. Dead babies. <laughs> we'll take a break there. Thank you. And now a word from our sponsors. Now that will be a bad place to get a boner. The <laughs> <laughs> dead baby sketch. Oh no. <laughs> Combined funerals on flower girls. Yeah. Have you ever thought of doing stand up as yourself? Do you have a burning desire to do I, I did it once bef- years before Pi because I just, I don't know, I thought I'd sort of try it and it was the most terrifying thing I'd ever, do- uh, uh, I'd ever done. Was it just open, like open mic? Yeah, it was minutes? like some 15 minutes. I think I went Oh, 15? I think so. I think, I think, I think, well, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Yeah. I think they yeah, probably yeah, thought yeah. I was doing five and they yeah. couldn't get me off because yeah, I just written. <laughs> this bit, you know, but I would do it now. But it's not. Sounds no, it's like not you. a. It's not a. An ambition, you know. I mean, I've done. Yeah. I'm doing all right, and it, and it's sort yeah, of. Just, it, it is kind. There are elements of stand up to it. There are elements of character, and for me, it's like. It's a performance. It's a character yeah, kind yeah. of do study and all of that nonsense. You get your itch scratched. I, well, occasionally that as well. I mean, <laughs> what are we talking about here? I mean, you get like the performance itch scratch. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got <laughs> myself a, a, a career out of it, which I've never had before. So, yeah. you know, um, you know, I'll, I'll stick with pie for the minute. Oh, so what did you do? You, do, you did acting. Well, I like didn't. Train. That was our fucking point. Oh, I tra- right. I trained to be an actor. Where and did then you I'd, train? You don't mind asking. Uh, Manchester Met. Oh, nice. No, yeah, no, no. thank you. One of the few people that actually got some good alumni it. from yeah. from there. Yeah, Coogan yeah, yeah. was there and mm-hmm. some others. Um, but then I didn't work. I didn't work for twenty years. Where did, did you, you go? I, well, I, d- I didn't train in per- in um, performance. I <laughs> I, I've seen Rita Sue and Bob too as well. <laughs> <laughs> you loved that. I didn't you, love that. you 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 even you said I really wanted you to be shit and you weren't. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I didn't love it. 
Uh, well, I did um, music, theatre, and entertainment management right. in Lipper, just over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did the business side of it, which is funny because the way it kind of works was it was people who performed when they were younger who went, actually, I'm more interested in, in this side of things. Yeah. Whereas I just went into the business side of things, came out and went, actually, like this. I think I'm, I'm going to perform, which yeah. makes absolutely no sense. So I did it the complete wrong way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I didn't. But I auditioned for drama school. Yeah. I, I, I did audition before deciding not to do it. Um, but they asked me to be a cathedral in the Royal Central School of Speech and Drama. Such that was my audition. <laughs> they went, okay, now we're going to be a cathedral. Oh, fuck off. And I thought, yeah, no, I'm not doing this for four yeah. years. You can piss <laughs> right off. It's funny, actually, because I, I, I always wanted to go to either Central or Guildhall, and I went to audition for both of them. I mean, I didn't get in, so maybe this is, I'm just, like, changing history. But when I went to Man Met and I auditioned there, and I went, oh, this seems a little bit more less... Like be a tree, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, Pretend yeah. you're a fucking building. Uh, why and f- for what? Um, so I, I was really glad I got in there, and it was it was a little bit more kind of like normal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, then then I didn't really. The first job I ever had was uh, I was in the Pet Shop Boys musical that no one's ever heard of, and I played a drug dealing rent boy. I <laughs> need all the information oh. about this <laughs> now. Yes. Yeah, I had to. I mean, you wouldn't. It wouldn't happen now because. Uh, the woke you're mob. Not, yeah, the fucking woke mob. But you're not, <laughs> you're, not damn you. to, you're not allowed to play a different sexuality these days, which to me is nonsensical because I think that's what acting is. But geez, cancelled. Yeah. Um, but uh, and then so I, out of drama school, I did all right for a couple of years. And I thought, what's, what's the fucking big deal? I mean, I'm just getting it. I'm uh, nailing it. And then, yeah, 18 years of fuck all, basically. Um, and then I decided to give up, and then I thought, well, fuck it, I'll write my own stuff, and within yeah. a few months, What boom. did you do, like, while, you, like, how how did you, like, you know, uh, live? Uh, I, I, uh, <coughs> all sorts of shit jobs, I was an estate agent for 18 months, that was, that was a low point, um, <coughs> I, the worst job I ever had was in a call centre, oh, where yeah. people, yeah, but get this, the call centre <laughs> was for, um, like, big companies outsourcing their HR, right? And what that essentially means is, like, uh, actually one of their biggest contracts was the NHS. So the NHS employs tens of thousands of people. So, like, peninsula type. Yeah, and it was for people to phone in sick so that you don't phone directly to your boss because there's a technical thing that if you've got to talk to your actual boss, you'll phone in later and they need people to phone in really early so that they can replace the blah, blah, blah. And essentially, if you're lying about being ill at work, you always say you've got diarrhoea because no one wants to ask you any questions about it, right? Uh, But unfortunately... I could write a thesis on phone Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Unfortunately, what in this thing, the whole point of it was to log the details, log where you are, where are you working, and what's the issue? I've got diarrhoea. Okay. Can you describe your diarrhoea for me? Uh, So I would be in a call centre at 5.30 in the morning listening to people talk about their shit. That was the lowest point, and that was the moment I decided to give up. I love that. Oh, it was awful. (laughs) So, and then you start about questions: Is it clear liquid, or is it is it funky? Could you just could you just give it a little taste, and uh, what are we getting there? You know. Do you know if anyone ever asked you what you'd be doing if you weren't doing comedy? I swear, that is the job. (laughs) That is the perfect job for you. It was the early mornings that got me more than the. the That'd be fine for him because he'd just stay out and go straight there. That's not genuinely not an issue. then I'd have to phone in to my boss and talk about my oh my god oh. inception shit inception. Yeah. Oh, you'd phone someone from the NHS was, yeah, and tell them that you're gonna be sick. Oh, you, when you phone, when you phone up, will you tell them I'm sick as well, please? <laughs> Cheers, fella. Oh, that no. is a mad job. Shit inception. That was good. yeah, but it's sort of it was through that sort of real low point that you just go, I've got to get out of here. I'm yes. going to start going. So yeah, you go insane enough to start making YouTube videos, yeah. <laughs> thinking that might be a way out. And I don't know, the gods, the stars, mm. whatever they it align. Just that's all it is, just one clip. Yeah. Bang. I got kicked out of my drama um, foray quite early, week two. Drama what? My my journey into you know. Four was this eight? after the yeah. F- it's f- yeah oh, I know it's fifteen. What does foray mean? Like, like journey, journey as those f- foray. But also he's so smart. Fuck you. Mate, I'm <laughs> smart. No, you're not. Fucking foray and booper. You can piss off. <laughs> and Gaviscon, not even like own brand. You can honestly, Fuck you've changed me, mate, mate. You've Fuck changed. Off. Sold twelve thousand tickets. You were six quid. Fully, fully changed. I've got six quid out there, mate. Fully, you've got. 
Poor Danny chained up. He's not allowed to move. <laughs> and honestly, I changed. Changed. He loves it. I needed to change. I was a cunt. Yeah, green room podcast. Green room podcast. That's what that means. Yeah. Fucking pathetic. Chase the money. Anyway, what's um, the drama journey? So, I was really good at drama. And so, I got, we had a drama, like, school come in t- mm. to watch us. And they tried to like scout me, do you know what I mean? I was like, oh, fucking hell, this is happening. <laughs> Joe, I was, I was this ghost. It was amazing. <laughs> Doug Ghost Patrick, As in, by Patrick Swayze. Oh my yeah, yeah. Love, yeah. I was like him, but. Were you playing sort of the Whoopi Goldberg role? <laughs> no, right? I was saying, I was saying, uh, I died in a car crash. And you know, Joe, when you're in. Uh, it, when you're drama and that, you just this try. This just sounds fucking awful. <laughs> you just try. You just try and. Uh, I used to love writing plays, but for, with like, <laughs> I used to. Write, I, I written like this Holocaust one. It was so fucking. God, it was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> this, this Holocaust sort of broad comedy. But yeah. I, this I, Holocaust I, farce. It's, <laughs> it's situational comedy. <laughs> I thought I was making a political point. <laughs> okay. Where you're where, where they come in and they're like they check you out and see if you're good or not. It was at the explosion of X Factor. So I just like make the Jews sing. And if it was good enough, they'd go through. <laughs> but I I thought I was trying, I was trying to make whole, a- Whole different level to boot camp. Was it called camp, make, that, the it? make the Jews sing? Make the Jews sing. Jesus Christ, when the star play. factor. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Star factor. <laughs> I've just realised what I said. I said it, no. and then your reaction made me go, "Fuck!" I'm no. Is it with this podcast that makes me cancel myself? Oh. So hang on. I'm sorry. I'm major. So your idea was, was it the a musical. No, uh, no uh, in my naivety, I was trying to hold a mirror up to like how ghoulish these talent shows are, but I compared it to the Holocaust. Which yeah, and I think. Too <laughs> but I thought I was do I was doing it from the way of. Talent shows are bad. Yeah. the Holocaust, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And let's not forget that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think there is a thing called false equivalence <laughs> at play here. That's but the judge of battle. Hitler. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. Goebbels. Hitler, Goebbels, Sam Cowell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Talisa. <laughs> Talisa. <laughs> Female boss. <laughs> fucking hell. Wow. And you got thrown off your drama course. No, that weren't for that. Oh, Jesus. That was just a school play. <laughs> That's what got him in. <laughs> for some reason. So then I had a burning desire to like do drama. Don't say burning desire <laughs> after that story. <laughs> it's not okay. I had, I had this desire to do drama, but... I came from a school where if you used a gel pen, you was gay. So uh, yeah. if you do drama, then you know you might as well come out as Elton John. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So I had to like try and hide my my, my love for drama. This is the play in itself, it like Billy Elliot. I just want to dance. <laughs> I just want to dance. Don't dance, Billy. Like, fuck Go off. home, Billy. <laughs> Go home. Um, so I found this drama school above a carpet shop. I'm like, oh, I'll try there. <laughs> called, called Kennedy Studios above Carpet World. <laughs> Jordan, right? And I went one week and they was working on a production. They was working on like the panto season and that. So you can be in it, obviously just you're just like a background character. So I'm learning all the dance moves and like, I had to run on and skid and, like, and was just, I was just in crowd scenes <laughs> of like Aladdin and that. Of course it was Aladdin had carpets downstairs. <laughs> 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 well done, well done. Well done. That's how you save money. <laughs> Production costs. <laughs> oh, that's good. Thank you, um, and uh, and so the, the first half of the day was rehearsing uh, the panto, and the second half was like you know a, like a lesson as, as such. So they went, "What I want you to do is just all take it in turns and act waking up in the morning." So I thought I'm going to put a bit of a comic twist on. So all these people are waking up and just, you know, washing <laughs> the face. And I'm fifth fifth out of eight to go or something. And <laughs> I thought very quickly, I have misjudged this. I have completely misjudged the tone. Because I woke up and pretended to vigorously masturbate. <laughs> I was asked to leave. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> How old were the, as was everyone else? It was just for kids, or no? It was twelve to sixteen. Right. But I was at, I was at the upper echelon, of right? The so age bracket, sort of miming so wanking at twelve year olds. I mean, so, yeah. To the letter above of the carpet world. To the letter of the law, yeah. <laughs> so, well, uh, that's a deleted scene from Aladdin. Jesus so I was, uh, I was kind of asked to leave, and then I was like, I don't think dra- dramas for me. I'm sorry. Was the Holocaust play before, before this or, or after. after this? Before, right. before, yeah. right. So let's okay. get this. Let's get your CV out here, right? Yeah. So you've done. You did sort of a a, a, a sort of an early Jonathan Pye esque. Yeah. You um, did a matinee and an evening performance you, yeah, of that. Yeah. Then you wrote uh, the, what was it, The Jews Can Sing. The Jews Can Sing. Sort of serious play. <laughs> yeah. um, and then oh and then you did the wanking. Then there was, then the, there was the Aladdin wanking. wanking above carpet world. <laughs> My Pierre de Resistance, <laughs> my wonder wall, though, <laughs> was a suspicious suicide. Right, okay. I can't hear this again. <laughs> is this another play? Yeah, a suspicious suicide <laughs> is so was the... the a play of a I knew he was going to bring this up, you know. I could feel it. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Go on, you tell about sus- the suspicious suicide. A suspicious suicide is a who done it. Yeah, <laughs> but it was suicide, right? Or was it? <coughs> yeah, yes. so I've always sort of gathered that. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Jesus. So there's five protagonists. Right. Are all five people in this guy's life who's killed himself? It's set at the wake. So, so we're talking GTSE drama now. Ones yeah. in red. For no reason, <laughs> we're all in black. One's wearing a red dress, though. The red herring. Oh, yeah. What does red that mean? Represents blood. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or promiscuity. One of them. <laughs> it's a very strong colour. And <laughs> um, so we all sat round in the wake, and we all talk about our last interaction with Pete, the deceased. And it flashes back to us having an argument. So I'm his, I play his brother. Mm. We have an argument, and and then his daughter has an argument, and. Everyone basically has left on a really sour note. And then we're all sat in our, in our houses, separate houses. So what, stage direction-wise, we're all sat next to each other, equally spaced apart. And then the front row all chuck a letter in through the letterbox. Yeah? So we read the letter. It's a letter from beyond the grave because he's... He's, he's d- dead? He's dated the stamp. Oh, right. If you, I don't know if you can do that, but... Um, <laughs> A letter from beyond the grave. So then the ex-wife reads the first two lines. Second is new wife reads the next two lines. Daughter, etc. Business partner. And we're all reading it. And then the last line, we all read in unison. Mm. So we've got two lines, two lines, two lines. And then all together, not. But the person <laughs> who drove me to my suicide the most was... The most... <laughs> The most. I mean, you all like you all had a little hand in it. The most. Yeah, but the biggest. (laughs) (laughs) So it's business partner, ex-wife, new wife, daughter, and brother. But the person who drove me to my suicide the most was, and then the East Enders theme tune played. The audience decides. But the actual EastEnders... Yeah, theme tune played. I played, I played it as an EastEnders episode in the end. That's really Do you know awful. how I know this is all true? <laughs> this is all true because he's told me this story before and it's exactly the same. So this is 100% true. But also, I love the it. fact that you've spent all this time writing this play and you go, right, obviously, this denouement at the end, we need to... Or we can leave the audience hanging. What's the best way to leave the audience hanging? The East Enders yeah. Duff Duffs. Yeah. Yeah, Duff the East Duffs. Enders Duff Duffs. That'll do it. And also, the idea that you thought everyone in the audience would go, that's fucking brilliant. <laughs> well, to- Tom, what you wouldn't oh, know is, Jamie is actually quite the East Enders super fan, aren't oh, yeah. you? Yeah, that's what I mean. So it, it, he's, he's very, very passionate about East Enders. So it kind of, you, it, went, it went into my hallmarks of yeah. Easter. I, I was leaving well, at least I was leaving Easter eggs Eastenders Easter eggs yeah because Eastender eggs yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice <laughs> that, that, that's Thank what you. I was doing <laughs> I was making like uh, references to Steve and Melanie's relationship but <laughs> really subtle and nobody knew what I was talking about <laughs> one of them was a mother one like, of them wasn't like, like, oh. like he owned a nightclub and, oh, oh right yeah and, yeah yeah and, oh, was this, was this your sort of lockdown project, or was this uh, this was this a few when, years ago this now? This was when I was 16. Okay, yeah. that's all right. That's this all right. Was, uh, <laughs> yeah. It was still a virgin. 
the key of my virility. Who knew? Who <laughs> knew? <laughs> yeah, but not long after that play. Hey, babe, <laughs> I'll tell you who did it. I'll take you to the carpet shop. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Lay it down on Eddie. Take your pick. Yeah, that's re- rejected 50 cent lyrics. I'll take you to the <laughs> carpet shop. <laughs> 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 oh, so stupid. Oh, you, that was very good. Have you, have you ever written any, you must have written some like bad plays. And yeah. All, all. Any like own work that's flopped. Yeah, yeah. I tried to adapt 1984 once. Uh, that was bad. But it's not as funny as fucking, I didn't end up with any fucking uh, the coronation music, street music or something like was that. Was it about you the Holocaust? I mean? um, what else? Did, I, did, I did write a play about some guy getting cancer once. That was a barrel of laughs. <laughs> No, I've never really... Was it meant to be funny or serious? No, I think it was meant to be serious. I think I'd soon abandon that one. Yeah, no, I mean, it's like weird. Like, I only have recently accepted that I am a writer because that thing that's playing at the Liverpool Field tonight, I've written it. So yeah. you go, well, I must be a fucking writer then. But I don't, it doesn't sort of rest easy on me, is yeah. it? Whereas you've obviously clearly I, been, <laughs> you know, studded to check off. And, yeah, the, and, you the, know. the one I'd rewrite is The Wedding. Oh, it's another one. Come on then. I told you the wedding. <laughs> oh my no. God. The wedding's mint, right? So it, it's the man does the speech. Yeah. It's like. Anyone got any heroin? And he's like, anyway. you know, he's got, you know, he's got tears in his eyes and all that. Joey, like, leave it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sniff an onion, get fucking, yeah, get a bit teary eyed. So like how beautiful his wife is and all that. And then he go, he goes back. Back to his, he's back in his house and like the honeymoon. No, that he's back in his honeymoon suite and he's got like a box of all these photos and that. He's looking through all the photos, and his wife comes in pristine wedding dress, and they have a dance to "With or Without You" by You Two. God. And then. <laughs> That's not a romantic song. No, really? it's romantic. It's and basically saying I can't live with or without you. Yeah. That's yeah. not what you're on your wedding day. Yeah, so it's sort of you, you're kind of a bit of a. Grey yeah. area. Well, either way, we're yeah. fucked. Yeah. Well, and then she, and then they slow dance, and he closes his eyes, and as he closes his eyes, she slowly backs away. Turns out she's dead. It was a funeral. Actually, that <laughs> sounds quite powerful. <laughs> <laughs> that actually does sound quite actually, powerful. Thank you. I can't live with all. Uh, and, then, and then when it goes, he's ah, like that, beating his. <laughs> Pictures around was this ever performed or it was just merely no I, I i played it but i didn't have the I, the, the state, emotional the, didn't have the budget the, no, the, <laughs> the, the couldn't afford an actress <laughs> so the whole thing it didn't work mine. in the carpet shop <laughs> <laughs> just a roll of carpet was the wife <laughs> a beige <laughs> shag <laughs> pile <laughs> someone tied her up to it <laughs> Just loads of carpet samples as the pictures of her. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> she went off with some laminate floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, she, she was laid down by several men. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to rewrite these plays, you know, just do them for a laugh. I wrote a play when I was in year 12, year 12 theatre studies. We had to devise our own piece, and I wrote a play called Do You Want Another, which is a theatre and education piece about drinking. Oh, wow. Which is so ironic about how I've grown up. <laughs> <laughs> so Don't touch it, I kids. learned nothing. <laughs> um, and it, do you know what? I have to say, it was quite good. It was, there were loads of different, like, scenes, and um, and, and then at the end, we wrote we rewrote song uh, that I want it that way. Um, to no more drinks for me oh. and then like it was about that yeah and it, oh. it was great honestly yeah. and at the start yeah. of each scene powerful. it was really powerful <laughs> and do you know i got a b for that and i still to this say if i ever saw that drama teacher i fucking throw her in front of a car I st- honestly it still bothers me i saw so it genuinely really driver. really yeah. bothered yes yes that, that would, would be, be the irony karma, wouldn't it, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. i saw F- I, oh it really hurts you watch shakespeare no, not really. Right, well, I, yeah, yeah, I, yes, I have. But I watched not. an adaptation of Shakespeare where it went to inner city schools. When? And they came, when it was in year eleven. Oh, sorry, and I they, thought you meant like recently. Oh no, and they came to our school and they tried to make it street, and it's all these oh, Oxford yeah. and Cambridge people. Oh, I can't bear it. And it was just like, Yo, Tibble, you seen that Juliet chick? She's so hot, dude. Yeah. <laughs> She's so fly, <laughs> babe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, 
I, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to be right at this place. I think that's going to be my 2025 um, tour. Oh my god. I mean, Whoa. you could do, yeah. I mean, that could be your sort That'd of your be next of show, yeah. sort of an anthology of yeah, your, your greatest sort of yeah. You theater haven't done an Edinburgh show, have you? If you don't, you haven't oh, done an Edinburgh show. No, you die well, in Edinburgh. I'm on the streets. <laughs> Not die as in on stage. Do very well. I just feel like the entire thing. You, I don't. Oh, I don't think you come I, back. I, I did it once, and I as as the train left Edinburgh after Edinburgh, I swore I would never, ever, ever fucking do that festival. Yeah, I did. I did. I, um, I did a showcase there in like 2016 or something. And I drank that much because I was in a house with nerds and that, so I was just like, I have to get out of this house and Obviously. booze. I went to work the next day and I had odd shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that that's a few times. That's <laughs> how, that's how much Do you know what I did the other week? I went to work without my bra on. Okay. Right. No, this, right, so. Do you know what, I said we've, this and realised. After all we've heard today. <laughs> no, like genuinely. I need another cabbage. Genuinely, I was that, <laughs> I was that tired and that, was I, I think I must have been still drunk and I was in the Uber. I was going to work and I was I was I, like I was just fixing my top. I was yeah. literally thinking, I feel really shit a brick. I don't know whether you've no, for, again for all the blind people, <laughs> I'm quite heavy chested. And I was literally <laughs> sat in the Uber going, Oh no, this is all and I literally walked into work and I was like that. Hello. <laughs> it was one of the poor kitchen lads, one of the poor kitchen, he's only 19. And oh my God, he didn't know where to look. God oh, bless his heart. Turned him into a God man. bless. I, if, honestly, I probably did, you know. He had a great wank when he got in, I think. Inside the bed. Don't. And on that beautiful note, we shall call that a podcast. Um, is that it? Is you that can't it? end it there. Yeah. We can't. With, a, a with, me, with me going to work without my bra on. Exactly. These are yeah. climax now. <laughs> um, Jonathan Fuck Pye on you. tour. JonathanPye.com for tickets. Well done. Very good. Yep. Good oh, guess. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere sold out. Um, oh. A suspicious suicide and sink for the Jews. A double-headed play. <laughs> Coming Auschwitz to a theater got theater talent. Soon. Coming in 2025. Um, above Carpet World in <laughs> Charleston. You know, I'm always on the lookout because I, you know, I, I obviously I, I'm really happy that Jonathan Pye has given me a career, but I still like kind of in my heart of hearts want to be an actor I would love to have a role in <laughs> you know, the well not maybe <laughs> possibly I, I think I'd, you'd make a brilliant Gables I would I would <laughs> or uh, you know what was the, what was the other one the a suspicious, a suspicious suicide. suicide I'd love that yeah. I feel you like know, that's even the if one I'm just off stage marketable. doing the doof, 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 yeah, yeah, doof, yeah, yeah I'd happily just do that a bit of I'd like to play the old wife yeah, I don't. I haven't. I don't think I've got. Oh no, you've in, you've not got new wife. I've got new wife. No, I haven't got. Are, I haven't got leave your there, wife. There is vibes. No, there is nothing trophy about you. There is nothing trophy <laughs> about me. Yeah. Apart from that trophy you give the participants, that's yeah, the yeah, trophy yeah, yeah, I yeah, am. Yeah, well done for turning <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah. I'm a participation <laughs> trophy, and I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, I'd like to play the old wife. Have you got anything to plug? Um. No. No. Um, my tour show is still on sale. Uh, tickets available for 27th, 28th of March in Liverpool and loads of other cities, um, South Wales uh, and the Midlands, etc. You know where the country is, you're in it. Um, <laughs> we have weekly live shows, predominantly, predominantly every Thursday, occasionally on Wednesdays. Um, sign up to our Patreon as well, Hot Waters Green Room. Uh, Patreon.com slash Hot Waters Green Room. You sound really excited about it. Oh, they're, they're just tired, man. <laughs> you are so tired, to be fair. You so are very tired, tired, aren't you, love? It's oh, follow, now, sorry, man. I forgot to follow uh, Instagram. Yeah, just do stuff. Do stuff for your life. Get involved. You, you're, you're, you, you know where to find me. Right, go on, Danny. And Don't wrap up. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks, Jonathan. As if one day you wake up and find that you're missing me And your heart starts to wonder where on this earth I could be Thinking maybe you'll come back into the place that we'll meet And you'll see me waiting for you on the corner of the street Cause what? I'm not moving I'm not moving Yeah and I'm not moving. You could definitely be a lead singer of a band. <laughs> <laughs>